So for those out there who are fans of tube style devices and you enjoyed the Cloud Stick series from Smoke, you remember the X8, the V8, the Prince Stick, the Cloud Beast Stick, and those devices were all about simplicity and blowing clouds and keeping things very simple. Well today we have the biggest offering from Smoke yet. This is the big boy. Everything has gotten bigger and better. Today we're going to check out the new Stick V9 Max from Smoke. Bigger battery, bigger tank, and new coil heads. So this should be pretty interesting. Now these were sent over directly by Smoke for the purpose of this review. I did search online, found it over at Element Vape along with a few other sites. Going price for the kit seems to be around $49. Now they did send over two extra, which we will be adding to the stocking behind me later in the video. So starting off with the device, it is constructed of all stainless steel. It's available, I believe, in five or six different color options. This is the matte black finish that you see here. It does measure 28 millimeters in diameter, and you're looking at about 87 millimeters tall. With the tank installed, you're looking at around 137 millimeters tall. Up at the top, we got your standard 510 connection with a spring-loaded pin in the center. Now, chances are you're going to be using the provided tank all the time with this device, but if you want, you can actually use pretty much any atomizer. Um, it's going to depend on the resistance because keep in mind this is an unregulated device, but if you want to use an RDA or RTA on top of here, um, you could do it with no problem. Here's the 28 millimeter Sherman, and as you can see, it actually looks pretty sweet on top of here. So if you don't have any coils or something like that, you can easily use one of your rebuildables on top of here. Along the front, we got your firing switch and your on off button. This one will be five clicks on, five clicks off, one, two, three, four, five. There is a little LED light that's gonna light up every time you press the button. And it's also gonna change color depending on the charge status of your battery. So when it's green, it's between 70 and 100%, orange between 70 and 30, and red between 30 and zero. When the light flashes 15 times, that's indicating the battery is below 3.3 volts and it will cut off and that's letting you know it's time to charge it. On the back side at the top, we got your micro USB charging port. They do state this one has a 0.66 amp charge over USB, so it's not a two amp charge, but it's gonna charge a little slower when compared to your regular devices. Now this one is a little bit larger than the previous one because it does have a larger internal battery. This one is using a 4,000 milliamp hour battery when compared to the 3,000 milliamp hour battery. Now this is an unregulated device. It's using the direct voltage output. So it depends on the voltage of the battery, depends on how much power you're gonna get out of this device. It has a maximum wattage of 60 watts, and they do state that it has a voltage output of 2.5 up to 4.1 volts, but it only does 60 watts, which is kind of interesting, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. And keep in mind, in order to get that 60 watts, you've got to be using a 0.15 ohm coil. At the bottom, we got your smoke logo, we got your stick V9 Max logo, very nicely etched into the finish. And then the bottom actually looks like a removable cap, but I can tell you right now it's not removable. Eight second cutoff, we got all your safety features like low voltage protection, low resistance protection, et cetera, et cetera. Now the tank looks a lot like the previous TFV, I forget which one it was, but it looks like the previous tank. I don't think much has really changed um, other than the name itself. Now this tank is a, once again, a 28 millimeter tank at the bottom. And with the glass, it comes out to 35 millimeters, so it's a big tank. And this is the only glass you get inside the kit. They don't include a spare, they don't include a standard glass. You only get this like bulb type looking glass. Up at the top, we got a 16 millimeter Delrin tip. This is not a 510, it's not an 810. It's actually one of those sleeves that slide over, which is impossible to get off. Oh, there we go as you can see there. So you're not gonna be able to use any other drip tips but the one provided. We do have top fill, a locking top fill system, which I do love. Little button right there, press the button in, and if you press it in deep enough, which I can never do, come on. There we go, spin it open. There's gonna be your fill port located at the top. The grommet is now on the back side of the top cap rather than on top of the tank, which I do like. They are rating it a 8.5 ml tank, which I think is probably one of the largest 
capacity sub ohm tanks on the market, but I think they're going to measure that with the coil head installed without the coil head installed. So maybe a little less than 8.5. I didn't measure it, but I'm assuming, and I usually assume correctly. Who knows? We do got dual airflow control, or should I say triple airflow control, because we do have three air holes at the bottom. Each air hole measures in at 11.5 millimeters each, a nice tight adjustable airflow control with stopping points. And then of course, you got your silver plated non-adjustable 510 pin at the bottom. To break down the tank, like every other sub-ohm tank, just unscrew the base. They will include two coil heads and you're gonna get the new smoke coils inside the kit. You get the Baby V2 0.15 ohm coil. This is the S1 coil, it's a mesh coil, which is rated 70 to 80 watts, best vaped at 60 to 70 watts. And they will include the Baby V2 S2, very confusing, I know. Now they state this is a quad coil, but it looks to be a dual coil on the inside. So I'm not sure if it's, if it's just a dual parallel wrap, but um, they do state quad coil 0.15, rated 30 to 70 watts. Best vaped at 55 to 60. Now, since I was a fan of the V8, the X8, and the Prince Stick, I'm gonna tell you right now that the version 9 Max is awesome. If you like bigger devices with a little bit more battery life, more juice capacity, you're gonna really enjoy the new 9 Max because things just got a little bit bigger and better, especially because they're using the new version 2 uh, TFE-12 coil heads in here. Now, the original Stick series, like the 8s and the Prince, they were good, but sometimes you got bad coils and they were using the older coils. But now with the version 2 coils, ever since the TFE-12 version 2 came out, I have yet to have a bad coil. So the flavor off this tank, you're getting a nice, warm, wet, saturated vape. And even though they're calling this the, what are they calling it, the Stick V9 Max tank, it's pretty much like the TFE-12 version 2 tank. I'm not sure if there's any differences. Maybe the tank is a little different. I think the diameter is a little different. The drip tip is comfortable. It's kind of a disappointment that you can't use your own drip tips, but once again, at least it's a comfortable tip. The top fill system on here, I think Smoke is probably the only company at the moment that does it right because they have that locking feature on there. And you gotta push that button in to unlock it, which means if you put it in your pocket, put it in your back pocket, you don't have to worry about the tank sliding open, which a lot of these other tanks do all the time. So I love the top fill feature on here. Now the large 35 millimeter bulb styled glass tank, I already know a lot of people are not gonna like it, but for me, I don't know, something about it. I love the way it looks. The only downside to this design is if it's sitting somewhere and it tips over, the first thing it's gonna hit is the glass tank and they don't include an extra inside of the kit, which I'm not sure why they didn't do that. It's kind of weird, but it's not bad looking. Some say it looks like a space saucer or I don't know what it looks like, but all I know is that this thing holds a shit ton of liquid, 8.5 mils, which is probably a little overstated, maybe more like seven or eight, but still, I'm not filling this thing as much as I usually would my other sub ohm tanks, especially when using the mesh coil. The airflow on here, tons of airflow. I have to close off the airflow. I run it about a half or quarter open, as you can see there. And it's still a nice, smooth, direct, wide open vape. And it's not too loud. You would think a tank this big gets really, really loud, but the airflow is still somewhat on the quiet side. And they said these coils are designed specifically to be used with this mod because it's a 60 watt device. You could still use the other coils from the V2 in here, but these coils are gonna perform the best. And I will say the mesh coil is outstanding on here. Once again, the, v, the version two coils have not crapped out on me at all. The device has gotten bigger, um, bigger battery, which means more battery life when compared to the 3000 previous one. So if I take this out with me, usually these are my grab, grab and go devices when I go out because I want something simple, easy to operate. So this thing will last me from like 8 a.m. till 3 p.m., no problem. And since the tank holds so damn much, I'm not filling it all the time. Uh, it would be nice if we had 2 amp charging on this, but I don't think there's any stick devices on the market that do 2 amp charging. It feels good. It feels like a quality device. These are made of stainless steel 
when I think the original one back in the day was made of a zinc alloy. They had more of like a thin feel to them. Awesome device. If you're into these stick style cloud stick slash all-in-one large pen style devices, um, you're going to really enjoy this thing. You must like larger devices because it is on the bigger side, but it performs outstandingly well. It lasts a hell of a long time and... That's it. That's all we got, folks. Um, Smoke was very kind enough to send over two. I was wanting to crack into this one so bad, but I didn't touch it. So we got two of these bad boys. We're going to add one to each of the stockings behind me. And if you're wondering, when are we giving away the stockings? Christmas Eve, folks. Make sure you guys stick around. Christmas Eve, we're either going live or we're going to do a video. We're going to have two awesome winners all around the world. Doesn't matter if you live in North Korea or if you live in Africa, you could win these stockings. All right. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.